What's up? How are you guys today? I guess uh, Frankie Eyeballs is back with what a former twink eats in a day. And I'll try not to make too many homophobic jokes today. However, I am under the firm belief I would place a bet that the reason bodybuilding even exists is because some freako weirdo got his, you know, his rocks off to big muscular dudes and he made his whole life goal how can I get dudes to get muscular so I can look at them? And thus, bodybuilding was born. <laughs> That's my theory, by the way. I've never heard of anyone else say 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 that or make that joke. But anyway, uh, we reviewed him before, Casey Kelly. Uh, I just Googled. He's like 21 years old, I think, or 22. Point is, he's early 20s. But this video today is dated February 3rd, right? Just 10 months ago. Dude, just 10 months ago, look at the difference. 10 months ago, look, down here 10 months ago, and now. So granted, he was a lot leaner uh, in this, but it goes to show you that whether bodybuilding is just aging you from the extra food, the stress, the supplements, the drugs, or you know, just being a higher body fat, how, how bad bulking makes you look like. It, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy because... 10 months apart, he looks like five, you know, three, four, five years difference. I mean, maybe I'm exaggerating a bit, but that's up for you guys to determine. Yeah, I don't remember, but I think that's one of the main things we touched on uh, last time we reviewed him, uh, how bodybuilding is, is pretty bad from an aging perspective. What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video and to another episode of Trust the Bulk. And today I have an extremely exciting video for y'all because not only are we doing the typical full day of eating, but I'm also gonna show you literally everything else that goes into my body. Drinks, supplements, pre-workout, you name it. Whatever I put in my body today, I'm gonna be showing y'all. And I'll also be giving y'all the calorie and macro totals at the end of each meal and the calorie and macro total for the entire day. So make sure you're sticking around so you don't miss a single day. Everything he puts in his body. Should I make the terrible joke? <laughs> Should I make it? <laughs> Are we going to see the sauna session too with the 33 old men? Are we going to see that part of All right. All right. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Thing. And right now, it's trouble. extra exciting because we are nearing the end of our bulk and we're eating about 37 to 3,800 calories a day, which is way more than I ever have eaten in the past. So we're really, really pushing food, but we're staying lean, we're looking good, and we're building a ton of muscle. So without further ado, let's head to the kitchen to take our daily supplements. All right, starting off every morning, I take my daily supplements and my creatine. You're probably like, Casey, what are your daily supplements? So bam, right here, what do we have? Two fish oils. This is really good for joint health, for heart health. You should probably- We did a video on this. Fish oil supplements are just oxidized garbage. No reason you should ever take them. I'll be taking fish oils even if you don't go to the gym. Then we have one probiotic right here, because as a lot of you know- I So a probiotic pills, it's usually dead bacteria, and even if it's not, Incorrect strains, not that much of a difference. I have IBS and this helps my symptoms. It also just helps have a healthy gut microbiome, which digestion is extremely important, especially when you're bulking because you're putting down so much food and you want to make sure everything's getting through there all nicely. Yeah, that's why we have water key for water key for grains on Frankie's syringe foods. That's the only thing I've ever done for my gut that has actually worked from a probiotic perspective. Instead of getting blocked up and then you can't eat all your food probiotic then we have some magnesium glycinate pretty much just magnesium and that's really good all right so that, that's one thing that's reasonable we actually just launched a magnesium complex on organ supplements that has a few different types of magnesium good because it helps with like 300 bodily functions and a lot of people are deficient in it because we don't eat a lot of magnesium in our diet it's winter so i'm taking 5,000 ius of vitamin d right here because vitamin d is extremely important again so you got to be careful with d3 because if you've taken it at any point without supplementing magnesium, it's possible that you have very high body stores of D3 that are not active. And for a bunch of bodily functions, and I don't get it from the sun because I don't go outside right now. So we have our daily supplements. Then we're taking about, I don't know, seven grams of creatine right here due to body weight. Seven. Yeah, I mean, guys, I've done so many videos on everything. Creatine we covered a few years ago. The video was kind of censored and shadow banned because I basically said, Creatine's bad for you. You shouldn't take it. It's proven to cause kidney issues as well as hair loss. It's not worth the slight strength increase. Grams 
Bam, watch this. Right, so let's go, Casey, you already know. Can you guys do this? Straight down, down the hatch? This is gross. I drip, I drip my camera girl behind there is not really happy with that. On to meal number one. It's funny to me, bro, because these guys, these guys have girlfriends and, and like, do they, do they realize like most of the, like, all right, I'll, I'll stop. Let me stop the homophobia. Let me. <laughs> all right. So for meal number one today, we kept it super, super simple and easy. And I've been having this for about a month and this makes it extremely easy to get a lot of calories in early in the day. So what do we have here? I have two pieces or 140 grams of sourdough toast with 40 grams of almond butter, 10 grams of honey, and a little bit of salt. And then on the side, I'm just having a Rise Chocolate Cookie Blast Protein Shake. You already know it's code Casey. But as a lot of y'all know, I was eating cream of rice literally every single morning, but it got to the quantity with the calories I was at where it literally felt like I was eating a bowl of cement. So you can eat things like these. This is super simple and clean. Sourdough bread is super easily digestible and probably the most unprocessed bread. Then I have almond butter, which is just straight up almonds. Honey, which is great for your immune system. And then just a protein shake on the side to get... So this isn't that bad. As he said, it's all basically straight ingredients. You know, we have the overarching concern that we always talk about. Is it organic? Because if you're not going organic with everything, there is an agrochemical herbicide, pesticide, fungicide concern. It's it's very bad. It's bad. So despite that, you know, the bread with the almond butter and the honey, I can't really complain too much about that. You know, it's, it's not super oxidized, inflammatory, omega-6 fats. There's not too many chemicals. Could be an issue if the bread is made with fortified flour. Could be some synthetic vitamins and stuff you don't want in there. But the main problem with this meal is that protein shake and whatever chemicals, flavorings, or preservatives are in there. So if you omitted the protein shake or had higher quality protein, this would actually be a passable meal. And you know the question we're kind of answering today is, does his diet cause accelerated aging? And, and that depends on the specific food choices from this meal. We, I can't, I can't say that for certain. But one thing I was going to say at the beginning was that when you increase your food volume and you're eating a lot of conventional crappy bro science foods, especially like conventional chicken, just low quality eggs, that type of stuff, especially bodybuilding in large quantities, will age you very rapidly and you won't look good. So. Uh, we'll see if that holds true for the rest of this. Dude, I go to the Rise website to take a quick look at the ingredients on this protein, and it, it's like trying to find a needle in a haystack. They just don't want to show the ingredient list. It's ridiculous. So it's not horrible. It is conventional whey protein. No, it's not grass-fed. And there are a few additives and chemicals in it. So not the best choice from a protein source perspective get my protein in so this is a super easy meal i'm gonna thoroughly enjoy this and then it's on to meal number two that meal with eggs would have been hey, okay johnny trying to make some calamari mozzarella just kidding we're making beef and rice pre-workout beef and rice meal number two uh it's pretty self-explanatory but i'm gonna show you how i make it boom rice in a bowl. Oh, I gotta start the broccoli first. Air fried broccoli, people. I've said it before. I'll say it again. So much better than boiling it. That just tastes like butt. Boiling or broiling? Boiling broccoli. Steaming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, Tucky, sit. Oh, oh, very gentle, ooh. very gentle. <laughs> anyway, we got our rice over here. We got a bada bing, bada boom. I'm looking for 330 gram. 330, all right. Throw it in the microwave. And then you put the beef in the pan. Ready, ready. ready. I mean, you know, he said beef and rice, so it started sounding good. Then he broke out some broccoli and uh, threw the rice in the microwave. Bing, bada, boom. I'll show you the finished product when I got it. Now, this right here is what I call a finished product. I'm going to let you all know what's in it, of course. So this isn't that bad. You know, beef and rice is an excellent base. You know, could we say the broccoli and whatever sauce he put in there? It's, it's a lot healthier without that, but what's also considerable is, you know, what type of water did you cook the rice with? Is the rice organic? You know, did you rinse the rice to take as much arsenic off as possible? Did you not use the microwave to, to blast your brain while it's cooking? And I don't know. I, I don't think the effect of the microwave on the food is as bad as it is uh, the, the Wi-Fi EMF stuff. And, uh, yeah, beef, beef can't complain about.
Obviously, you want to go grass-fed. Of course I am because I will be the entire day. We got 330 grams of white jasmine rice. We have six ounces of 93.7 grass-fed, grass-finished ground beef. We got a little bit of broccoli in there that I never track on a bulk because that's kind of pointless. Some sugar-free Polynesian sauce and a little bit of hot sauce in here. Seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of extra salt because it... Yeah, if everything was organic, this wouldn't be that bad. And, and maybe like having some cauliflower instead of broccoli would be a better choice. It is pre-workout. I like keeping my pre-workout meal pretty lean, lower on the fats, really high on the carbs, moderate on the protein. I'm gonna down this, and then we're going to hit a shoulders and arms day with Mr. Lucas Popin. You probably know who he is. Yes! The motivator for the gym on social media. I'll catch you guys when I'm preparing my pre-workout for the shoulders and arms day. Today, I think I'm gonna go with the Blue Raspberry Godzilla, and the pump caps. All right, pretty much everyone knows what pre-workout does. It gives you energy, it gets you a good pump, and then I'm gonna stack pump caps on top of it to get an even better. Dude, like 20 year old kids taking pre-workout to go to the gym after just sitting in their house and eating all day is the is the funniest thing to me. It's it's so ridiculous, like you, you what, you need stimulants to work out? Oh, God, and this combination of supplements that these bodybuilders usually take even if they're natural is what makes it not ideal for kidney or liver function yeah maybe if you just took creatine or if you just had a protein powder or if you just did a, maybe if you just did one of them on a consistent basis it wouldn't be that bad but when you're combining all these things that have chemicals and ingredients in them that are proven to be bad for your organ function it's Better pump because it's shoulders and arms day and I want my ego to be through the roof by the time I'm done with this workout and I want to show y'all an absolutely sick pump but another thing I'm going to be doing to get an absolutely sick pump is I'll probably be eating one of these intra-workout and one of these post-workout because I got about a 30 minute drive home and I just want to get some food in me while I'm getting I can't complain about the Rice Krispies at least they taste good I mean probably full of seed oils and very very inflammatory uh, one reason the pre-workouts aren't good is because the way they work is is with a high oxalate content uh, causes the nitric oxide buildup in the blood for a temporary flushing effect, which is one of the worst things you can consume for your kidneys. And uh, also the caffeine stress on the adrenals. It's, it's, just, it's almost as if like these supplement companies are trying to destroy your organs. And on the road, so 300 calories of Rice Krispie Treats is going to go in me at some point today. Uh, you could buy organic versions of those. like Like... Even though I think the company that makes them is Annie's Organic, even though those aren't that great for you, they're infinitely better than the conventional Rice Krispies. I mean, we also have like uh, Quinoa Crisp and Granola Bar on, on Frankie Strange Foods that are much better. I mean, best bars on the market, uh, quality organic. So just tally that on the board. Yes, the Rice Krispie treats are going in me. No pause. And an obligatory plug for the video, you already know, it is Code Casey on Young LA, Rise Subs, and he- We know, bro. He said it like two times already, right? It helps support me, helps me make more videos, and make this my job so I can get the most high content I possibly can for y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all at the gym. I know I do this every video, but it's necessary. Cold start every time, amazing. going on guys we got Casey Kelly here we're about to hit some shoulders and arms and honestly I'm pretty I'm pretty excited I'm pretty hyped it's always a good workout whenever we come to crush it and what are these like $60 sweatshirts these two guys are wearing Just... but Lucas I don't want to work out <laughs> Wait, you... all right I'm, I'm probably gonna skip the workout so I don't have a, a stroke from all the cringe he's eating the, he's eating the Rice Krispie treats it's not ironic bro eating Rice Krispie treats get into that nice car Makes you wonder if it's what he's actually doing or if he just does it for the video. He has 29 grams of carbs, so 60 grams of carbs, intra and post-workout, and then I'll have another meal in like 30 minutes. So I will catch you. And it's just a good example of, you know, regardless of whatever you want to eat, Rice Krispie treats, Snickers, bars, Twix, candy, you can get high quality organic versions of them. And it's, it's not nearly as bad for your health. As soon as you omit the vegetable seed oils and go organic, it's so much healthier for you. you and you feel a lot better.
you at technically meal number three. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are home from the workout now and we have meal number three, AKA the actual post-workout meal right in front of us. And before I tell you exactly what's in it, I have to tell y'all that it is so easy to cook meals that you enjoy. All you need is good sauces, good seasonings, and a basic understanding in how to cook. And you can make whatever meal you want. Tastes amazing. So right here in front of It's easy to cook, bro. You just have to know how to cook. I have 315 grams of white jasmine rice, 140 grams of cooked chicken breast, 55 grams of avocado, and then like 70 grams of salsa verde. This is absolutely amazing. It literally tastes like a homemade chipotle bowl, except it just, just plain beef. We've said this in so many videos. Just plain beef and rice is way healthier. And when you're adding these seasonings, vegetables, flavonoids, carotene, all this stuff every meal, it's not that great for your liver. And these people aren't consuming enough soluble fiber and they don't have a high enough reduction of inflammatory components in their diet to be tolerating all, all those additives. Does it make you sprint to the bathroom right after you eat it? We all know what I'm talking about. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this and then I will catch you at meal number four. It's going to be delicious. Are you guys going to support my businesses so I can actually open, like eventually have my own organic fast food chain? What's the deal? Well, this economy, in this economy, <laughs> that'll cost you $65. <laughs> this is the point in the night where I start getting extremely full after meal number three or four. It's hard to put the food down, but we're doing it anyway. It is 8.54 at night right now. We're eating our fourth meal and we still have another meal after this, but meal number four, AKA the pre-fortnight meal, we are having two English muffins, 45 grams of almond butter, and one 100 calorie Greek yogurt. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I was gonna have another beef and rice meal, but at this point in the bulk, it's getting hard to get that many super clean calories down. Like uh, He's averse to, to eating fat or like fatty meat which can help add calories. You know, he's not eating dairy, a lot of high fat dairy products or, or eggs, which are a great way to add calories. And I mean, if, if you're avoiding fat, if you're keeping things lean like this because you think it's clean, yeah, you're gonna have an issue gaining weight. This isn't not clean at all, it's almonds, some bread and a Greek yogurt, which a good source of protein, okay source of carbs, good source of fat. We're gonna down this and then- It is interesting how you know, our, our conventional food system turned yogurt, which is arguably one of the healthiest foods you can ever consume because of its its nutrient profile. It's mainly its probiotic content is, is why it's so healthy. But what they do is they remove the fat from the yogurt, the really, really healthy, non-oxidized, saturated fat, which is, is great for your cellular health. They remove that. They add white processed sugar to it, which strains your nutrient store. So the B vitamins and the protein that was in the yogurt is now kind of like kaput because your body's using it to make up for the excess sugar they added. And then they, they, they pasteurize it and homogenize it to remove any probiotic benefit whatsoever. So the difference between a supermarket yogurt off the shelf versus like the one we have on Frankie's syringe meat raw straight from the farm, night and day difference, unhealthy versus the, one of the healthiest foods you can eat. And uh, I mean, this, you know, having bread with almond butter, you know, once you develop an understanding of nutrition, your own homemade organic bread with like a macadamia nut butter or just like, like an organic, make sure the almond butter is organic is, is way, way better. But if, if he's trying to gain weight and he wants to avoid fat, like you, you have to go with more refined flours and grains and carbohydrates. Rice is not that great uh, unless you're adding like a lot of oil to it. Then or some we're going to Fortnite, hopefully get some dubs, I'll keep you updated on that. And then it is on to meal number five, the final meal, and then I will give you all the calorie and macro total for the day. So make sure you're sticking around for that. But I'm going to grub, let's see if there's any crunch. Catch you later. Ladies and gentlemen, we just caught a couple dubs on Fortnite, which is more important than any meal that I'm gonna be showing you. No, I'm kidding. But meal number five and our final meal of the day. Again, I made something pretty quick, but it is still pretty clean. What we have here is we have some Rice crispy cereal, which is pretty much just puffed rice maybe a little bit of sugar and a little bit of salt, some honey and some almonds just to add some extra calories on there. Then we have a Rise chocolate cookie blast protein shake and that- Like the kid's afraid of fat. 
Like he, he thinks that's healthy, but he won't add butter or fat or to anything. It's not good. I, I think the biggest concern in his diet overall is the high arsenic content from the ridiculous amount of rice consumed. He had rice in basically every meal with the exception of breakfast. You know what? Let me just really quickly go over the main things wrong with each meal. So for breakfast, you know, what chemicals are in that protein shake? How much is that affecting you negatively? And is the bread made with fortified flour? For the next meal, beef, rice, and broccoli, honestly, not terrible. Main thing is, did he use organic rice in there? That's what we're worried about. When we get to the, the pre-workout stuff, it's bad. Pre-workout, all that stuff, is bad. You don't want to take creatine, any of that stuff. Bad for your kidneys, bad for your liver. And then the Rice Krispie treats, I'm saying, well, he's having a lot of rice. And obviously this is conventional. It's not organic. So there is there is an agrochemical concern with the Rice Krispie treats, vegetable seed oil concern. I mean, when you have a junk food like that, it's you can really just talk for a long time, a laundry list of, of the negative things in it. Next meal, rice again. You're like, hold on. When you're having rice even one meal every day, there's an arsenic concern, but with how much rice he's having, like second meal, rice crispy treats, rice with chicken again, like e even if chicken's organic, it's unless you're going corn and soy free, which we do have on Frankie's syringe meat, it's not a great choice. Avocado can be very inflammatory to most people's guts. So I'm not really a fan of avocado either. Uh, but again, we're just piling up the rice. So it's kind of ridiculous with the amount of rice he was having. And then this last meal where he's having almond butter and a Greek yogurt. Now we're like, okay, the, the diet is lacking quality saturated fats and possibly even a bit of cholesterol, which is important for cellular health. So if he was having some eggs for breakfast or if he was having, you know, more red meat or higher fat red meat, we, we'd kind of be okay. And then, you know, to top it off, when he brings out the Rice Krispie treats with more almonds, it, it's just like arsenic city, dude. I, I would love for him to get a hair test and see what his arsenic levels are. I'd be really curious about that. And, uh, I mean, ha having a protein shake again, you know, you're going to drink that many shakes. You want to go with a high-quality organic or grass-fed protein. Uh, we just have the plain whey on organ supplements now. I, I might do a chocolate whey. I don't know. Uh, depends on what you guys, if you guys want it. Some almonds just to add some extra calories on there then we have a rise chocolate cookie blast protein shake and that will complete my full day of eating the total macros and calories for the entire day are as follows 3763 calories 209 grams of protein 492 grams of carbs and 107 grams of fat over yeah, I mean, when you're eating that much rice if you're not taking a B1 supplement or like I mean probably needs very high dose B1 to, to contact the high carbohydrate content of the side. I'm honestly surprised, you know, even when I was younger in bodybuilding, you know, I'm surprised all these bodybuilders, I mean, they probably are severely deficient in B vitamins and B1 especially, but that might be why they always need all these pre-workouts and caffeine and why they're always so tired. It could, it could really be s severe B vitamin deficiencies from excess carbohydrate consumption because carbs, refined, all carbs really, sugars really, really stress the body's B vitamin stores. So when you do supplement B vitamins adequately, it kind of offsets the negatives of a high carbohydrate diet. So could could be a lot better with a few slight adjustments, but the way this is going, uh, since he doesn't have like a, a crazy high amount of vegetable seed oils in the diet, um, he's not eating too many processed crappy foods. I don't think it's going to affect him too negatively. But, uh, you know, I mean, I was lucky enough to find out about health and nutrition when I was still in my early 20s. So well, what really affects people and makes them age quickly is like when they're in that college age area and they just eat like crap and party and drink a lot like just completely horrible lifestyle for three, four, five, six years really ages you. And the bodybuilding stuff would do that if you made kind of poor food choices and use a lot of drugs, but uh, could could be better, could be worse. I guess that's my two cents. A little bit disingenuine when they're so pushy with these supplements. Uh, I mean, 
I'm pushy with my products because I know I have the highest quality and most affordable things on the market. And I have a, a very good understanding, which is why I'm even offering those products in the first place. But like when you get an outside sponsorship from a company and you don't know certain components of nutrition, I mean, that's, that's what everyone does really. They're just, they're just trying to sell stuff and make some money. But you know, does that mean this is what he's actually eating? Would he actually have that many protein shakes or, or you know, what is he doing off camera? But you guys can go to frank com if you'd like to support me through all of my businesses. And uh, you can see Frankie Strange Meat, Frankie Strange Foods, Organ Supplements, Wi-Fi Shielding, Frankie's Naturals. We got all the fresh meat shares back on the meat website, guys. A uh, few new products on Organ Supplements. Definitely check it out. Same with the Naturals. But outside of that, as always, guys, please drop a like on the video. Leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. Guys, please, I need to I need to pay for my eye surgery revision. <laughs> Guys, that was a joke. Better be covered by insurance if that if that's the case.